If you're someone who's like me and wasn't born this century, you were used to having game consoles that were completely different in their own category to their home console counterparts. So what I'm talking about are things like the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, the DS, so on and so forth. Whereas today, they seem to be more or less the home console with the Nintendo Switch playing games through the cloud onto your phone and maybe even arguably something like the Steam Deck. But a while ago, a few years ago, these consoles were completely separate with their own development. Uh, the 3DS is no exception to that. And I think that this time in 2022 might be a great year for you to purchase a 3DS. And time is really of the essence for you to purchase one of these machines if you're interested in getting some digital games. Reason being is Nintendo is trying to shut down the 3DS game store. Now, what this means is that you'll no longer, eventually, you'll no longer be able to purchase digital games on the 3DS. That is actually a big blow to what makes the system so awesome because of the virtual console. Virtual console is this section of the 3DS store where you can buy older games, things like everything from the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all the way up to the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. So there's some classic titles you can play on the 3DS. For example, you can purchase the Gen 2 Pokemon games, some of my most favorite games of all time. You can buy gold, silver, and crystal digitally and play them on your 3DS, and it's just awesome. Nintendo wants to shut down this store by the end of uh, 2022, moving into March of 2023. So this is why I think you should buy a 3DS in 2022. So let's start with the dates where this online store is going to be affected. Starting in May 23rd, 2022, it will no longer be possible to add funds using a credit card to the 3DS or Wii U eShop accounts. Um, I'm unsure if that means that the only way to add funds to your account after this date would be that you would have to go out and buy a physical eShop card specifically for the 3DS and the Wii U. I think to my understanding, the storefronts are completely different between 3DS, Wii U, and Switch. So I'm unsure if that means there's different physical cards to add funds to your account for those specific machines. Nonetheless, that is when you'll no longer be able to add funds using a credit card to your system. Moving forward to August 29th, 2022, it will no longer be possible to use an eShip card to add funds. So this is what I was meaning that you could probably still purchase physical cards between May and August. However, it will still be possible to redeem download codes on your console as well. But moving into late March of 2023, sometime next year, it will no longer be possible to make purchases, download demos or themes, redeem a download card, or add funds. So you're essentially going to be locked out of adding anything to your Nintendo 3DS eShop account uh, permanently after 2023. And that's really, really sad because I'm a huge fan of game preservation and being locked out of those some sort of estimated to be 1,700, almost 1,800 titles available digitally on the eShop, I think that's a really big blow. And there's no workaround for this sort of issue where if gamers want to play these classic games digitally on the go without original hardware, they're going to actually have to sort to illegal methods through piracy, downloading, emulation, that sort of a thing. And Nintendo is very strict on their piracy and emulation uh, methods. They like to shut down sites that offer ROMs for their older consoles. So they're trying to make it as difficult as possible to play these older legacy titles. And I think a company such as Nintendo with a true legacy of backwards and older titles from previous generations, this is a big blow to game preservationists and gamers who just want to experience older games. And I do not think that the Switch Online membership thing, where you essentially have to rent the ability to play these older games, uh, it's nowhere near as good as Virtual Console, by the way. It's, it's not an acceptable solution. I don't think that renting, paying 30 or $50 a year 
to play, you know, just a handful of uh, NES, Super NES, and N64 titles is a solution to this problem. I really do think that the Switch would sell even more than it already is if the Virtual Console was unlocked for the Switch. I don't think that the Switch has a technical limitation for allowing us to emulate Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. It can already emulate N64 as we've seen through this Switch Online membership thing. But I just don't like this solution that's available to us where either you have to rush out and buy a system and add these games to your account or you got to go three legal methods. That's the offer Nintendo has made to its customers, and clearly they see that game preservation isn't something that's on their mind, or being able to play older titles is something that's on their mind. So I think the price of these consoles are going to go up as people may hoard or hang on to their machines as they want to play their virtual uh, games uh, after this store is shut down. There's also some great first-party offerings on the Switch. There's Mario Kart 7. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon is great. The Gen 3 remakes I've heard are really good. There's Animal Crossing, Super Mario 3D Land. I love that remastered version on Switch. That's Super Mario 3D World. Fire Emblem, Zelda, Super Smash Brothers, Mario Party, Monster Hunter. Uh, all of these titles have made great appearances on the 3DS. Not to mention the 3DS is backwards compatible with DS carts. So you're unlocking the ability to play the great original DS library too, which has legendary Pokemon entries and so many other great games on that platform as well. So should you buy a 3DS in 2022? I think the answer is a resounding yes, but I think unfortunately that answer is forced upon by this uh, decision by Nintendo to close down their store. If their store was going to remain open in perpetuity, I do think that that would maybe change my answer a little bit, but this this system is getting older. It has such a legendary backlog of great titles. I'm unsure of the emulation status of 3DS uh, as a platform on its own right now. I know th uh, regular DS has a great emulation already, but 3DS, I don't know. So I think for the time being, it's a good idea to pick up a 3DS. What are your thoughts? Are you planning on picking up a 3DS in 2022 or beyond? Or have you already purchased a 3DS and you're happy with your purchase? I love to know your, your thoughts in the comments down below. If this is your first time on the channel, Andy's Arcade is dedicated to the love of older gaming titles and retro stuff that I've loved from my younger years. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and check out future videos on the channel. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you, James.